Hey there, welcome to the Atari ST channel and uh, here's a little video uh, we'll show you a little bit the internals of the Atari especially because my Atari had a faulty the drive actually had a problem and I had to remove the drive from my computer so basically um, this is the internal you take out the upper cover of your computer the original disk drive that was on my Atari is this little drive here and this is the original machine that was made by Epson. It's basically pretty much a PC drive on the Atari ST. The only thing is that it's uh, in drive zero and all PC drives are made in drive one. So you cannot use a standard issued um, PC drive uh, unless you can change the drive to zero, which is almost impossible on the new drive. So you'll try to you'll have to dig out one of those really old PC disk drives. Uh, one really nice add that you can have is here there's a nice little drive here this is a drive I bought on eBay and you can actually get it from the stfreaks.co.uk which is the uh, website here for uh, the Atari drives and if you go on eBay just uh, type in uh, Atari ST disk drive and you'll have the uh, official disk drive. So this is the disk drive that I uh, ordered from eBay. Works uh, works really well. I'll show you here uh, underneath the little internals of the Atari here. You can see the different chips right there. Uh, one of the drawbacks here of the Atari computer, um, not the Atari computer, but the disk drive, is the fact that this drive is not the same size as the original Atari drive so what it means is that you have to work your way around to fit it and one of the things that I did actually was cut off a part of the little output uh, door for the drive here so that the button that you can use to uh, eject the discs is actually available also what I did is I kind of uh, took the little metal pins here and pried them a little farther away so that instead of going inside the metal casing here they actually go on the outside which means that the, the drive cannot go farther back and because it's not as long as the original drive and by doing just a little bit of these modifications and actually putting a little bit of uh, paper underneath I was um, able to actually fit pretty well the drive into my computer here so that you can actually put it back and that you have access to your um, Atari drive which is pretty cool here um, it's very nice so it fits pretty nicely you can see here with the little modifications I did actually fits well enough to uh, actually uh, give access to the drive as you want so it's pretty cool so uh, go on eBay if your uh, disk drive has uh, gone haywire uh, this is the best way probably to uh, fix a computer it's a little expensive uh, the guy sells the drive for something like 40 or 40 or 50 dollars but of course he modifies them himself so um, it's, it's worth the money if you want to make your Atari computer work again. So this was a little video showing you uh, how you can actually change your disk drive in your Atari if it's uh, broken. So uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these videos, click the subscribe button at the top of the Atari ST channel window. And of course, if you have any comments or questions, let us know. It's always fun to have feedback. And uh, I will be uh, trying to answer all those questions as best as I can. So thanks for watching and hope you come back to the Atari ST channel. Bye-bye.